everybody, welcome back. I'm doing a review today on this little uh, capacitor, or sorry, transistor tester. And um, I first picked up on this um, from um, emails from AliExpress, you know, um, just ads. And um, so it look, looked interesting, had a look at it. And then I checked some reviews out on YouTube and they all seemed positive. So I thought, hey, why not? Won't use it much, but uh, it will certainly come in handy for... Um, you know, chicken uh, MOSFETs, whatever, you know, all that sort of thing, capacitors, resistors as well, you know, um, even lead, lead lights, I suppose. So um, let's check it out and uh, see if it does live up to the, uh, the hype on it. Anyway, what did I pay for this? Um, $37, I think, and that was with postage, so not too bad. Okay, there it is. Tiny little thing. Okay. A bit thinner than what I thought, but then doesn't need that much, does it? So what have we got? Okay, lock our um, component in. Cool. And it's got to have some battery somewhere, I suppose. What else do we get with it? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, sticker. And of course our little clips, hook clips, and uh, this thing here, which um, you can, from what I've seen on the videos, you take that little uh, thing with the slots off, and uh, that fits onto it. And we'll have to work that out. Oh, no batteries, I see, I see, USB. And an instruction manual, which should be fun to read. Uh, Oh yeah, there's some English in there. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, I'll um, hmm, I thought it'd have batteries. Anyway, I'll um, charge this up and get some components, and uh, we'll put it through its paces. Okay, it's fully charged, and <laughs> let's turn it on. And I did go through the um, little manual, and um. So anyway, I've got a rough idea what to do, so I've uh, got myself a whole bunch of components here and let's, I don't know, I'll grab a, a resistor and um, what the manual says is uh, you've got all these slots up here uh, one, two, three, one, two, three and then two so it doesn't really matter I can put it in a one and two or one and three stick that resistor in there that reckons it's a uh, 20 ohm at 3 watts, but anyway, don't think it's going to tell us how many watts it is. But if I click test, and so it's a star, ah, good 22.6 ohm. Okay, that's good. Let's grab a capacitor, it's a what is it? Uh, 0.1. Get it in there. Oh, they're in slot one and three, one and two, two and three. It doesn't really matter. We got. Yep, capacitance 93 NF. So, yep, <laughs> close enough to point one. So far, so good. All right. Now, let's test some uh, transistors, and this is this is why I got it, because um, I don't deal with them much, you know, it's not going to fit in, I don't deal with transistors much, and, you know, trying to work out whether they're a PNP or an NPN, I've got to go onto the internet and hopefully find myself a little video that explains it simply. So I'm just going to put my uh, little clips, hook clips in there. I'll we'll just go uh, the colour code in, in slots one, two, and three. And I'm just picking the colour, uh, going in the order of uh, red, black, and green. Okay, lock them in. Yep, they're in. Right, now I'm assuming it doesn't really matter what I connect to what. This unit's going to tell me which is the base, the emitter, or the and the collector. 
All right, that's all hooked up. And let's test. Right, so it'll tell me here. It's an NPN, okay. And, um, okay, one is the emitter, two is the base, three is the collector. Cool. And some other stuff there. UBE. I don't know what UBE is. IE, 1.03 milliamp, and HFE. Don't know what that is, 108. Hmm. UBE, 457 millivolt. Okay. Don't really know. But I think it's okay. And I've got a, an old, probably uh, germanium transistor here. And we can test that too. Why not? Where's my red? And it turns itself off pretty quickly too, which is probably good. Okay, test. It tells me it's a diode. Ah, okay. Ah, hold on. My lead came off. Okay. And the black one doesn't really want to sit on there probably. So let's try that again. Here we go. It's a PNP, and uh, yeah, okay, one's a collector, two is the uh, emitter, three is the base, and UBE, I'm just reading these things off, 66 millivolt, IE, 54 UA, I didn't know what UA meant, I, I don't anymore, anyway, and HFE, whatever that is, is a, is a four, yeah, all right, but anyway, still useful. And let's try this one here. What is it? It's a uh, uh, TO126. Tells me it's an NPN on the packet. Now, out you go. That'll fit inside here. When I can get it to go in. There we are. Uh, okay, NPN, yep, all right, cool. Same results as before, that's working well. All right, let's try capacitance and I've got to get these things back in here again I don't think it matters what terminal I uh, connect to on the capacitor I'm taking a while right uh, V loss must be voltage loss 1.2 percent ESR 0.01 which is very good. Um, I read on the net that um, anything under 0.1 is uh, 0.1 ohms is good on ESR, and capacitance says it's one uh, space 0.0 micro microfarad. Anyway, probably can't read it, or that's close enough to it means 1,000. I don't know. That's pretty good. Now I've got here <laughs> uh, a 10,000. Microfarad at 40 volts, and it's a dual cam, dual cap. So, and yeah, just put that onto the negative. Let's go with one of the positives. See what we get. I thought I'd keep that cap just simply. It's 10,000. Hopefully, it works. Capacitance, yep, and it reads as 81 <laughs> nanofarad, yeah, I don't think so. What's the other terminal give me? Uh, 
Ah, here we go. Um, voltage loss 0.9%, ESR 0 0.07, and capacitance 9.2 microfarad. Okay, so I'd say that one's okay, but that one I think is shot. So um, I think I'll just dump that. <laughs> Might as well. Or, yeah, I'll dump it. <laughs> I'll dump it. Okay, another thing I wanted to check was uh, micas. Always had trouble measuring these bloody things on my multimeter. Oh, well. Try those. And let's see what this tells us. And it's, um, yeah, capacitor, of course, 85 picofarad. Nice. Cool. That's going to come in handy. Measuring those things. And I've got here, pardon my arm, I've got a bag which I've got out of one of my lucky dips. And I have no idea what these um, little caps are. So hopefully this gadget's going to tell me, or tell us. Nah, take the red one. That black lead doesn't seem to want to stick properly. Okay, here we go. Taking its time. So this is a capacitor, and it says it's uh, 1 UF, not 1 MF, 1 UF, hmm, ESR 2.8, well, mm, <laughs> don't think it's any good, and voltage loss being 0.8%, okay, 1 microfarad, 1 UF, uh, don't know. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, apparently this thing does Xena diodes as well. So I've got a packet of Xenas here. Again, this was from the Lucky Dip. Here we go. And a Xena, oh, I've got to actually press Xena there, test it. Um, okay, doesn't know what it is. Let's swell it around. I wouldn't have thought that made a diff would make a difference, but who knows. Oh, my mistake, my mistake. Pardon me, I forgot. For Xenos, we have to go down on the um, on the bottom rung here. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see, it says KAA. So one lead in the K slot, another lead in the one of the A slots, lock it in. Let's see if it works. Nope. Okay, I'm going to swap it around. Oh yeah, it works. Good. Uh, VEXT. Vexed. 0.74 volts. Uh, plus minus reverse insertion. Oh, okay. Um, don't know. But, looks okay. Looks okay. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> but I recognise it anyway, so that's cool. Um, this tells us the orientation of it. I like that. Well, guys, that's it. Um, done capacitors, um, resistors, diodes. Oh, diodes. Sure, I have got one. Where is it? Where is it? Here. We'll use a lead. Light emitting diode. And I'll just whack them in there. 
up the top in slots one and three that should do actually let's see if that uh, glows oh yeah yep diode uh, with a capacitance of 18 picofarad okay and whatever else cool so that works too nice oh right that's it <laughs> I'm not going to test any more um, I think it's a great little gadget and I'm going to use it. It does other functions as well. Um, it can uh, read um, infrared as well. Um, if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, IR decoding. So you flip that up. And then you uh, get your remote control and go zap. Might do that one day. But anyway, that's it. And I think for, you know, 30 odd bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, I'm... I can't see anything wrong with it. So um, I think that'll, that will come in useful in, in the future. Anyway, just wanted to show that to you guys in case you haven't seen them or you were thinking of getting one. Well, yeah, I would. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks a lot. I will catch you all soon. Bye.